So here we go. Uh, we have a question from Matt. Matt says this. He goes, what is your take on doing movements in a specific order? And do you have any suggestions? I don't mean do bench press before dips so you have energy to bench more. I mean something along the lines of these two examples I tried that seemed to help the main movement, such, a, uh, such as a few sets of leg curls before squatting or a, full, uh, a few sets of pull-aparts before a bench. Um, okay, my general order, uh, if, in, you know, if, 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 when I put together programs, and this is just from the matrix, push, pull, hinge, squat, loaded carry, uh, because loaded carries are, can be used as more of a finisher. Uh, one of the things I do do, if you have a, uh, a weakness, very often we'll flip the order and have you do them first. Uh, oh, for years I had people do front squats first. That's not the question you're answering, but I just wanted to make sure uh, I responded because that does come up a lot. Uh, I know I talk about an intervention in some of my other books, but it, it shows up. It's it's a good question. So Matt, let's let's now uh, kind of edge into your question uh, here, especially when I when I teach at the universities. Uh, this is something that comes up a lot. Now, we're, we're not talking about activation here, right? And, and, and I appreciate that from your question, Matt. Is that you're asking, you know, are there exercises you can do that will support? Fortunately, I had a chance a couple of years ago to be with Tim Anderson, and, and I was telling Tim my issues with uh, uh, a certain, certain parts of my Olympic lifting. And he came up with an interesting way to do rest periods. I'm answering your question, so hang in there. So for example, if I do snatches, after the set of three, I do, uh, I get on the ground, uh, so I'm doing three set snatches, one, two, three. I pop on the ground and I do six point rocks from original strength. Whew, I catch my breath because that's more of a mobi mobility. And in my case, kind of a, uh, it, it seems to get me, you know, the word we use in my gym is tonic. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm, I'm back where I should be. Then I would stand up, walk over, and grab a you know a 24, 28 kilo kettlebell, and do a suitcase carry left hand down and a, and right hand back. Nothing fancy. And what I noticed from doing those exercises is that they seemed to help my squat snatch. Um, then later we added a, just a, a light set or two of like. Bulgarian goat bag swings or any hinge movement, light RDLs would be fine. Deficit deadlift probably would be a good answer for some of you. And I began to notice that my snatch, and then later with the clean and jerk, they were just getting, uh, uh, and if you're, if you're ever Olympic lifted, really done anything, even if you're a musician or what, all, all of a sudden things seem to orchestrate better. And so to answer your question, I think yes. If you read my post uh, deployment program uh, that's in the book attempts and on the danjohnuniversity.com uh, it's called the uh, hypertrophy and mobility uh, uh, workout I've really spent a lot of time I think this what you're asking is a very good question um, I'm not going to make it perfect uh, it, it, at the website and in the book those, those articles are that's that's hammered down that's thought through. I don't have them with me, so I can't really quote it as well. But let's just say you're going to do something like uh, a, a press. You're going to do a, a, a military press. Well, if you compound that with an issue having, uh, most people that I work with have lockout issues, and you can see that even when I do that there. So we would do uh, a combination of military press, a waiter's walk, uh, maybe Something for some people, especially most of the people, uh, uh, many of the Americans I work with, uh, the T on a suspension trainer, and and maybe some gentle kind of mobility. So I want you to think this way: we're going to do an appropriate loaded carry, an appropriate, you know, kind of complementary move, a suspension trainer, and a well, and then. It, anything else that seems to prime you for your lift and then we do the lift again so you do you do the lift you do a, a mobility movement uh, a complementary uh, loaded carry maybe a 
complementary opposite movement do the lift. I, I think, I honestly think that this is sort of the future of the people I train. I've been kind of working on it. Uh, it's one of those things you have to do before you can appreciate all the uh, all the benefits of it. Uh, the hardest thing to explain to people is, you know, the rest period is doing a mobility exercise, a complementary reasonable loaded carry, and a complementary reasonable <laughs> kind of opposite movement or supportive movement. But yeah, I think there's really value. I liked what you said here with leg. Uh, in most gym settings, you you know, doing a superset like you say, you know, leg curl followed by front squat. Uh, I would understand. I think that there's some there's some logic there. Um, you know, I've been kind of thinking about this as I've been walking around lately. It, it is something I'd have to experiment with, but I like where your head's at, and I'd be really interested to hear what other people have tried on this. Uh, it's one of those things you, it, you do have to do it before you can comment on it. So, but if if you don't mind, folks, if you have ideas along this, you know, just type, you know, just put something in the, uh, you know, in the comment section. And I'll, I'll just keep playing around with it. And maybe this is something I can make more logical down the line in the future. Really good question. And, and I think, and I think that this is the future of what we do in the weight room. Uh, the serious big movement followed by complementary mobility, loaded carry, and then a, you know, a supportive movement or an opposite movement. So great question. And thank you.